Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to It's Poppin' where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So in this video, which is a super exciting video, we just got a new to us free pop-up camper. So we've never seen the inside of this um, until hopefully right now where we're gonna go along and take a look at it with you guys. Obviously the outside can uh, use a little work. Here is the exterior of this um, 2007 Palomino Yearling. I think the model is 4123. Here's the backside. As you can see, the uh, roof definitely needs a cleaning. So the story behind this pop-up is, and, and how we got it for free, is my sister owned it um, for quite a few years. Um, however, unfortunately they only we're able to use this pop-up for a handful of times over the last four years. Otherwise, it's just been sitting. I'll show you some of the, uh, the details. Clearly, you can see we're gonna need some uh, new tires. Um, definitely needs some caulking along the seams of the roof. Um, like I said before, definitely needs a good uh, power washing. So here's a fix. Looks like we're gonna have to make. Looks like the um, inlet hose uh, for the um, water tank over here came unraveled a little bit, and that actually happened to our last pop up too. I think it just gets brittle, and unfortunately, the um, the hose just tends to kind of unravel. We have the uh, electrical hookup the water fill, the city connection. Ooh, yeah. Shower needs a good cleaning. Let's, uh, let's check out the water heater here. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Um, kind of hard to see these tires. They look okay, but I'm sure we'll end up replacing them um, just so we know how old they are. Here's the uh, drain valve. Looks like we'll have to find a new cover. All right, let's take a look at the refrigerator. All right, so I got the uh, refrigerator covers off. Let's take a look inside here. Uh, definitely, definitely buggy. Um, what is this? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be in there anymore. Yeah, definitely needs a good vacuum and clean out. But otherwise it doesn't look too bad. All right, let's continue on. So here, this pop-up actually has, as you can see, a ref um, an air conditioner, as well as a roof vent. So, Hopefully those aren't leaking, at least, hopefully there, it hasn't leaked to the point where there's any uh, extensive water damage. All right. So it has one of these slide out boxes. And I have no idea what's all in here. Kind of smells a little musty and a little damp. That's not good. Well, we'll see what's in here once we get the top open. So unfortunately, as you can see, there's a lock on here and we have the keys, but this lock is rusted shut. So we're gonna have to get creative with opening up the uh, front box here. It has a uh, propane hookup and a battery. Here's the other uh, side of the box. Let's pull this side out and see what's in here. Ooh, as you can see, it looks like there's some water at the bottom of that. And yeah, that must be where the musty smell's coming from. Um, yeah, 
I bet you uh, maybe a little bit of water might be getting into that corner. So we'll definitely have to repair that. The uh, awning doesn't look in uh, too bad a shape. And I'll just bring you guys all the way around here to the other corner. Okay guys, so as you can see, we got it up and I don't know, I'll try and play some volume off the camera. It was pretty squeaky going up. So um, those roof supports might need a little bit of some sort of uh, silicone or something. Hopefully they're not bent because they were making a lot of noise when we were um, cranking it up. So let me uh, flip you around. And as you can see, the canvas looks like it's in uh, pretty good condition. Uh, we'll have to see once we get the uh, bunk ends popped out. But um, it might just need a little bit of cleaning. I actually really like the color of uh, this kind of silver gray color. The screen here will need a little bit of attention, but uh, we'll take the tape off and see exactly what it needs. Kind of dark back through here, but uh, I'll do my best to show you guys what, uh, what it looks like. And here's the inside. All right, so this will be the uh, first steps in here. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, it actually doesn't look, uh, look too bad at all. Um, I don't see any indices of any mice getting in here, so that's great. All right, let me, uh, let me get this table and such flipped up so we can, uh, we can get some lights on in here, and I'll show you around some more. Hey, the lights work. Okay, look at that. So all three, uh, all three lights are on. I can turn off this uh, plug-in light here. Yeah. Okay. So here is the inside. Give you a, a quick spin around here. Yeah, all right, so looks like we got the uh, propane tank cover, um, stove, um, what else we got? Oh, the tire cover, and then um, a nice outdoor RV rug slash mat or whatever. One of the tables over there, some cushions, of course. All right, I actually kind of like these countertops. Look pretty nice. Okay, so let me um, let me get these bunk ends uh, popped up, and then we'll actually be able to get a good look at the uh, bunk end condition. All right, guys. So this is the 
bunk end at the front. Overall, not too bad. I see maybe a small little tear or two. But like I said, not too bad. Back over on the other side. Also in pretty good condition. Just could use a uh, slight cleaning, but uh, that's about it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna try out is the fan. I already got it uh, opened up. Oh, yep, and it looks like it's working. Um, turn that off just so you don't have to listen to it, but it uh, looks like we might need a little screen repair. But uh, it looks good around around here. I don't see any indices of any water damage, which is great. Um, also, one of the things I noticed is it looks like the air conditioner screws might be a little loose. However, yep, it's definitely at least um, blowing air. Notice that there's a little bit of delamination of the ceiling right here, and I'm guessing it's because this air conditioner is loose and it might be uh, condensating back into here, but hopefully if we tighten that up, it'll uh, stop that from uh, getting any water in the roof there. So I'll just give you a quick overview of uh, like the sink and the stove here. Um, won't be able to test them out, at least not yet, but uh, we'll let you see the general condition. Yeah, everything looks great on the stove. Um, the refrigerator probably just needs a little clean out. Um, let's see. Well, the furnace looks like uh, whoop. <laughs> might have a yeah a screw loose or something, but otherwise, hopefully that'll be all right. I can see that the um, the uh, I think that's the propane gas alarm is on and and running um it looks like right next to it looks like the um a water pump switch an outlet and then also the converter so uh, one thing yeah we do need to do is get a new um carbon monoxide detector and we'll probably just get a battery powered one and and uh replace that roof mounted one but uh other than that guys the cushions look like they're in great shape um yeah, everything just needs a little bit of cleaning but that's it uh, naturally we'll replace all the curtains and valences with uh, something a little bit more up to date. And there's where that tear is on the, um, that I showed you guys on the outside. We'll have to do something about that, but that's definitely the largest one I've seen other than, you know, just some slight little guys. So one thing that I uncovered um, is one of these straps has come undone. Oh yeah, right up top there. So it looks like that'll need to be sewed on. And on the other window, looks like that one's hanging on by a thread. So looks like uh, I might have to uh, redo those um, straps that kind of hold in the, those windows. All right, so here is the door in place. Looks pretty good to me. Um, I don't see any problems with it. And um, it fit into place just fine. So I'm assuming um, everything's pretty, um, I guess, level and flush. Nothing's like too bent out of shape in terms of the roof and the frame and the camper. So that's a good indication. Let's take a look under these cabinets. Hopefully, Oh yeah, they don't look too bad actually. Um, I don't see any indices of any mice getting in or any water damage, which is 
great. Um, okay, so here's, yeah, as you can see, obviously the uh, converter and such, all like, all the electrical and such. Um, yeah, none of this looks too bad at all, which is fantastic. And there's some of the plumbing, looks like the uh, exterior shower, uh, water pump, that fill hose, and obviously a lot of the wiring and uh, water heater. Looks like it's kind of hidden up under there. So one thing I noticed that we are missing is this table um, that I think is probably just a table that ha has some of the flip down legs um, because I'm not seeing, you know, any um, kind of a spot to put a post like the one over here. So I'm going to assume there was some sort of um, flip down leg table here. If you guys um, can point me in the right direction on either where I could buy one, that'd be fantastic because uh, this is definitely another, you know, sleeping area and without that table. It would uh, take away at least from, you know, a single, single sleeper, if not uh, room for two small kids or something like that. So, yeah, let me know if uh, you know anything about this table that is is missing. Okay, so that is the free pop-up camper. Um, all in all, really not too bad. Obviously, there's a few issues that we got to uh, address, like the water in the front uh, storage bin and, like, the tear and... Um, the uh, loose air conditioner and um, you know just giving it a nice um, cleanup but other than that at least on the face of things I'm not seeing any major issues um, clearly time will tell once we you know get into things here and um, start making sure that you know everything works like making sure the refrigerator works the sink the plumbing there's that outside shower right um, things like that all right, everybody, so this is it. This is the free pop-up camper renovation project. What do you guys think of it? Um, do you have any thoughts on um, how we should go about renovating this? Here's what we're thinking. We're thinking um, doing it kind of similar to how we did our last pop-up camper in terms of the scope of the renovation. So, you know, new flooring, new cabinet paints. I don't know, I kind of like these countertops but I'm not thrilled with the tan in them. So that'll kind of be to be determined. Um, but, you know, new, um, new cushions, new curtains, new valences, uh, new lighting. And of course, you know, making sure everything's mechanically sound and all the appliances are working. So that's kind of our plan, but love to uh, get some feedback on what you guys think and uh, what you guys think uh, works well for redoing these um, pop-up campers. Now, granted, this isn't the oldest pop-up camper out there. Like I said earlier, it's a 2007, so it's not like we're renovating a 1987 pop-up that needs a ton of work. But um, I think this is going to be a super exciting project, and the plan is to take all of you guys along for the ride, and we'll document um, every step that we take in terms of getting this not only camping ready, but um, also, um, you know, giving it a new look.